Well, the ch I think the chances of um, uh, of Audi it's of obvious high, and uh, but we need to respect also the other manufacturers because this year uh, we have another one, but we have Porsche, Audi, and Toyota with three very ambitious projects. It's there is not the ambitions of just a podium; it's ambition of winning. All of them have fantastic drivers, very experienced. Audi is the most experienced, I would say, in the last years here. Um, Toyota is getting stronger and stronger. They were good in the first two races of the WEC. But Le Mans is just unique, so Audi will use all the experience. The car, we have the long tail just for Le Mans, so we will be more competitive. Um, so I think it's, I would say that the chances are, are high. So, and my chances as a rookie, it's, it's aiming for the best. I mean, doing a good job with my teammates. They both of them finish on the podium. Uh, Marco and Oliver, and I will use them the most as I can. And um, yeah, I would say that I would not, I would not mind to be around in P1 and uh, or a podium. I will definitely be happy. But uh, the, the the goal number one is to do the the maximize what we have in the car. And we know that many things happen in Le Mans. I'm, I'm happy to 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 be quite um, outside agile to adapt my driving style to to different cars. I'm racing in the Audi R8, completely different to the Audi R18. Um, a lot more technology and a bit faster, but um, I'm happy. And I'm since long time. I mean, I've been coming like this, so I just need some laps to get the confidence, and I'm more or less there. So it's um, it's good. And also, I'm doing this year the LMP2. So three cars quite different. I'm racing all the categories I would say this year in the endurance racing world and I'm just having fun and I just need like more or two laps in the beginning okay where should I switch on the, 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 the engine, what should I do and after two laps I'm there.